Hi, I'm Kevin County Circuits, and today we're making Digi Spark Pro as part of the Digi Spark Pro Kickstarter. So we're making these on behalf of Digistone, and hopefully getting these out to you guys uh, very soon. So we're going to walk through the process of actually manufacturing these boards. So the first step is Eric and Digistone got these boards made at Bay Area Circuits out of California. So this is a panel of all the Digi Spark Pros. There's 64 boards on here. You can see there. Um, like eight by eight matrix on here. Uh, the boards are all scored between them, so we can easily break them after the, the fact. And the first step of the process is we're going to put this in to a solder paste printer, which is going to deposit a fine layer of solder paste, which is, which is a mixture of solder in very fine uh, particle format, with flux and some other chemicals. And when that heats up, that will actually uh, melt and uh, turn into molten solder and then cool off and and make nice, beautiful solder connections. So that'll be the first step, and we'll get to that right now. So this is the inside of the stencil printer. You can see there's a stainless steel cut stencil down here. And it might be hard to see with this camera, but there's little uh, holes cut in there. So it's a laser cut stainless steel stencil. And you can see here, although well, I shouldn't touch it, there's a, a bead of solder paste, which is this grayish paste. This machine works by basically a silk screening type process. So there's squeegee blades over here. You can see there's paste on there already. And uh, the board will get loaded in this machine, and it's a vision-based machine, so it's going to align what are known as fiducials on the board. Uh, to fiducials on the screen. And aligning those, this machine can align to within 25 microns, and then it'll lift the board up, squeegee on a layer of paste, and we'll do that now. So Dave here is loading the board in into the machine. You'll see it suck in the board, and it'll squeegee it. So here's the board out of the printer. It's probably hard to see, but there's a layer of solder paste on all these pads on there. So now Dave's loading the machine into the pick and place. So this pick and place machine uses pneumatic pressure to place all the parts. So you can see that red light there, and that's actually a vision system. It's going to look at a reference point on the board called a fiducial. And then it's going to look at a second reference point on the board. And using those two points, they'll correct for any errors with the board loading. Now, you might not be able to hear it, but there's air uh, being sucked through that nozzle on that one head. And it's going to come over and pick up a part. And then it'll go place it on the board. And so on this particular DigiSpark panel, there's about 1,500 parts that has to play. So obviously, we'd be here all day at this rate. So if we put the cover down, and take it over there. So Adam here is testing the boards using the fixture that Eric provided. So you can see him, he'll load the board in, plugs in the USB, it goes onto this fixture, it pushes a button, and it goes through a full functional test and downloads the Arduino bootloader onto the board. And so after a few seconds, the board's done, and plug it and bag it.